Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be one of my absolute favorite videos to film. And I know that you guys also love watching these videos. So like you can tell from the title, it is a haul video. So I did a lot of shopping recently from Nykaa during their birthday sale. Then I did place uh, an order before the sale started of some products which I urgently wanted. So I have that as well. And then I also bought a few things from purple.com. So I am going to show you all of those products one like under one roof in this video so let's quickly get started because i do have a lot of products to share with you guys and to talk about and it's not going to be just a haul video but uh, since i received most of these products like somewhere between like one week back to maybe around two weeks back so i did get some time to try out all, the, all of these products at least once so um i can share like a first impressions or like a mini review of them but it's not going to be like my final review i will keep you guys updated on them in the future so definitely stay tuned for that and for that you need to subscribe to my channel and also hit on the notification bell button because that way you get a notification whenever I post a new video so definitely do that and yes if you want to know all the stuff that I recently bought then please do keep on watching. So I'll talk about the things which I got from purple.com first. So I got this tea tree essential oil. Now I absolutely love tea tree essential oil because I do have acne prone skin so whenever I break out I always use tea tree essential oil as a spot treatment. And it really 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 helps with the pimples so i got this one from the brand good vibes and it is their tea tree essential oil it contains a 10 ml of product and let me show you what it looks like so it does not have a dropper it has this normal cap which once you uh, get rid off this is what it looks like and you can just pour some on your palm or like on your uh, fingertip something of that sort and um, this one I haven't used yet because thankfully I haven't been breaking out really bad. I do have like one or two pimples because of uh, like you know when it's the time of the month you tend to break out things like that like hormonal breakout. So I've been having a few of those but nothing too bad. So I haven't used that one yet but whenever I do I will definitely let you guys know if it works or things like that. And then I also bought another thing from this brand called Good Vibes which I have actually tried out and it is their... Uh, aloe soothing body lotion and like you can see i've used up a little bit not too much i have used this i think three or four times up until now and i do really really like it let me tell you that it um, is not very heavy and sticky now the reason i don't really use body lotions a lot is because most of them tend to be really sticky and heavy and i don't like that greasy feel but this one is not like that which i really really like so um, this one gets absorbed really well and it has that nice fresh fragrance which is not very overpowering so i do really like that as well so uh, yeah so far i have been enjoying using this one uh, moving on to the third product again this one I haven't used yet it is the biotic uh, advanced Ayurveda bio papaya revitalizing tan removal scrub and let me show you what the packaging looks like again I haven't used this one because there are currently other uh, face scrubs which I'm using and I want to use them first before I start using this and this is what the scrub actually looks like so again, I will keep you guys updated about this. Maybe when I use it for the first time, I'll show it to you guys on my Instagram stories. So definitely follow me on my Instagram. Can that person stop honking? Yeah, so when I use it for the first time, I'll definitely probably show this to you on Instagram stories. So definitely follow me on Instagram if you aren't following me already. I the, uh, My Instagram handle will be in the description box. So you can check that out. That is all that I got from Purple. Um, then moving on to what I got from Nykaa so the first thing that comes to my hand is this uh, hair mask which is by the brand Mama Earth and it is the uh, Argan hair mask now this one I didn't actually know guys I'm really sorry for all the honking and everything that you hear in the background the area where I live in is a very like busy area and this is just the story of my life it happens every single day so you must have heard it in most of my videos and I'm really sorry but I can't really help it uh, moving on to this hair mask like I was saying um, when I bought it online I did not like see and I did not notice that this one actually says that you know it's for moms and generally like when you're a new mom or maybe when you're in your pregnant phase of, obviously I haven't experienced that so I don't know 
but probably at that particular time women tend to lose a lot of hair and uh, this basically like claims to you know help with you reducing that and taking care of all that and stuff but uh, i have used this a few times and um, i will say that i do really like how soft my hair feels after i use i use it now if your hair is really dry and damaged then i don't know if this will like help with that a lot but my hair is kind of dry but not extremely dry and this one does make my hair feel a little more softer than otherwise so so far i am liking it and i like how huge the tub is like it will take me a while to use up this entire tub and it was also not that expensive it's for 5.99 and you get how many grams of product you get um, i can't okay yeah it's right here it's 200 ml so yeah that's a pretty good size and you can see this is a ginormous tub like it is like two thirds of my face it's a very huge tub then moving on next to um this shampoo which i also got from um uh, nika and it is by the brand eves rocher i think that's how you pronounce it and it is their purifying shampoo which is for oily hair now this claims to be silicone free colorant free and paraben free which is great but um this one i particularly bought because i tend to use a lot of dry shampoo and the residue kind of you know gets collected in your hair and i really wanted to like um, clean my hair because i feel the regular shampoo that i use the one by tresemme the hair fall control one does not really help to get rid of all that gunk which accumulates in the hair so this one uh, when i read the claims i thought you know it will help with that and stuff but this one i feel is a very very mild shampoo i have used it i think once or twice and i feel this is extremely mild and like you can see in like one use i've used up like this much so i feel it will not last for a very long time like i can't use this every single time i'll probably might be use it like once in two weeks or something like that because it is kind of pricey it's for 550 and you get 300 ml so this is definitely pricier compared to my shampoo by tresemme so um i have to keep you guys updated on this one i can't really say as of now but yeah moving on to all the other things which i also got so i got two things from the fine fairness range from neutrogena and this is what the products look like so first of all i got the fine fairness cream with spf 20 and this is what the actual packaging looks like again i've used this just once and it's not an extremely lightweight cream it is a little bit more heavier um which personally since i have oily skin i'm not really super duper fond of but i have to like start using it once i finish using whatever i am currently so when i do try it out i will let you guys know as of now that's all i can say that it's not something which you will absolutely love if you have oily skin that's what i personally feel but something which i feel is suitable for all skin types or uh, even if you have oily skin i think you will really like it it is the neutrogena fine fairness brightening serum and let me show you what the packaging looks like by the way these products are really supposed to like help with the uh, any kind of pigmentation if you have and really even out the skin tone and that's the reason why i wanted to try them out and see if they really work because i do have a lot of like acne marks from my previous breakouts and this is what the serum looks like i really love the packaging so it has this uh, cap which comes off really easily and then you have a pump this one is really lightweight and uh, i did use it just once so i will like continue using this and let you guys know this does claim to reduce the uh, the appearance of like pimple marks and just fade away the pigmentation that you might have in 3 weeks which is a great thing to claim and if it does really work then i think it's absolutely amazing but again i will have to let you guys know like i'll keep you guys updated if this at one actually works moving on to a body lotion another body lotion which i picked up is by dove it's their go fresh nourishment body lotion and this is the fresh cucumber and green tea scent and uh, this is what the packaging looks like it's a huge bottle and um, i do have the shower gel of this particular variant so i thought i'll buy the body lotion as well and i can use them in combination together and another product which i bought which i am planning to use specifically in combination with the body lotion is this um, argan rose and camellia seed uh, moisturizer which has natural spf as well and it's by juicy chemistry so another reason why i'm planning on using these two together is because a lot of times when you use like shower gels and body lotions of the same variant um it can kind of help in like uh, 
improving the scent and making the scent last longer like if i use the uh, shower gel in the morning and then like once i'm out of the shower i use the body lotion as well then uh, the scent can probably last for a little bit longer but then uh, what happens is that since i do go to college every single day i prefer using a body lotion which has a sunscreen in it and this one does not have sunscreen so what i thought is that this serum i can mix in with the body lotion so that way i can get the scent and then i can also get sun protection so if this combination tends to work then i think it's great because you can use something like this with any sort of body lotion and then you won't even have to buy like a separate sunscreen body lotion you can just buy this and uh, this even like these 10 ml bottles last for a very long time because you need just one or two drops so i think that would be great so again i have to try out like um, the combination together i haven't used this one yet but i have used the dove body lotion and this is also one of those body lotions which is really light and does not feel sticky but still moisturizes the skin really well so i absolutely love that about this one but i have used it once only i will start using it more uh, in the future moving on to some other products which i was really excited to try from neutrogena itself i did buy a lot of neutrogena stuff because believe it or not i haven't tried a lot of their products so i was really excited to try them out i also bought this neutrogena oil free moisture spf 15 facial moisturizer and this one i would say is kind of okay i do like the fact that it moisturizes really well and um, right now my skin is kind of combination it's not extremely oily like uh, the periphery of my face like my cheeks and stuff i feel are getting a little bit more drier so i am getting a lot more into like moisturizers and stuff so this one i feel is great for that because it does feel really moisturizing but uh, personally i tend to prefer gel moisturizers and gel creams this one is more water based so that's the reason why i am not like super duper impressed with it but i do really like it so i think it depends on personal preference but yeah i will continue using this and keep you guys updated about it and um, another thing which i have heard like i feel everyone rave about is the neutrogena ultra sheer dry touch sunblock with spf 50 plus and this has um, it's basically a matte sunscreen and i do really agree with the claims that it is mattifying so it is a more cream based product but it does set into a matte finish and i have used it a couple of times and i do really like this one but personally i feel that i will use something like this more or um, like in the winter months because even though it has a matte finish but it is uh, a little bit more moisturizing but something which i will love using in the more hot and humid months are these gel sunscreens so one of them is by lacme it is the lacme sun expert um, ultra matte gel with uh, spf 50 pa triple plus this one i feel is the most matte among the three like among these three this is the most matte and it does have a gel texture which i absolutely love and it gets absorbed very quickly into the skin and uh, something which i feel is like in between the two is this one by lotus again i've heard a lot of people say really great things about this one it is the lotus herbs safe sun uv screen matte gel it's an ultra soothing uh, formula it gives a matte look and it also claims to prevent oil and this one also has an spf of 50 pa triple plus and it gives you uva and uvb protection and it's uh, says that it's great for normal to oily skin this one i feel is not as matte as the one by lacme but then it's not extremely moisturizing like even this one is not extremely moisturizing but it is a lot more moisturizing the one by neutrogena this one is the perfect in between and uh, recently i've been using the lotus one the most among these three because like i mentioned my skin is a little bit more combination and it's not extremely oily like my t zone is like forever oily but my face like my cheeks and stuff are a little bit more drier so this one i feel gives me a little bit of moisturization but it's not uh, but it's still matte at the same time so i really like and i've been using this one the most and i would definitely highly recommend this one so uh, those were the sunscreens which i wanted to try i wanted to try these three since a very long time and i'm so happy that i finally did uh, moving on to two face washes which i picked up again these two are from neutrogena so the first one is the um, oil free acne wash and this one um, 
is basically a facial cleanser for acne prone skin and it also has a salicylic acid now i have used this like i think once or twice and i do really like it it has a more gel texture which i prefer in my face washes but something i am not super duper impressed by is this one it is the neutrogena deep clean facial cleanser for normal to oily skin this one is a more water based face wash and again like i mentioned i'm i prefer more like gel textured creams and face washes and things like that because i feel that they're really good for oily skin but then again they don't dry out your skin like even though i have oily skin i don't want products which dry out my skin completely because if i use products like that then my face will tend to produce more and more oil so i want products which basically balance my skin out really well so um that's the reason why i didn't really like this one a lot but of course i will still continue using it and like use it up completely but uh, this one i will recommend only if you like water based face washes if you prefer something uh, which has a more gel texture like i do then i think this one is great and it's also great for if you have acne prone skin but again i will test it out once i break out and see if it helps with those breakouts so yeah i will keep you guys updated on this one um moving on to the last two products which i have is uh, another face scrub and this one is also by biotic it is the bio walnut uh, purifying and polishing scrub which is for normal to dry skin so this one will be probably a little bit more moisturizing um let me show you what it looks like okay yes this is what it looks like so again i don't really have much to say because i haven't tried out this one either so i will keep you guys updated on it and uh, moving on to the last product is probably the most random purchase ever it is this hand wash which is by the brand 50 ap i was just randomly browsing on the nika website and um, i saw this brand and they do have a lot of hand washes in different variants and the one i picked up is the green apple one if you know me personally you would know how obsessed i am with uh, you know like green apple iced tea then a sapunk in the green apple variant and just anything green apple just give it to me and that's the reason why i picked up this one and it is just your normal regular hand wash it does lather up pretty well uh, pretty well which i do really like and yeah that is it i don't know what to say about a hand wash as such but yeah i'm definitely not disappointed with this purchase but yeah it was kind of a random cool purchase yeah that's all i would say and yes i think that is it those were all the products which i recently bought and um, yeah i hope you found this haul video helpful in some sort of way because i did share like mini reviews so just in case you're interested in buying any of these products then you would kind of have an idea of what i personally think about them so they'll probably be helpful for you and yes that was it for this video again like i mentioned i will keep you guys updated on all of them in the future so definitely uh, subscribe to my channel and hit on the notification bell button because whenever i post like future videos um you will get a notification and also follow me in my instagram because i will keep you guys updated even on my insta stories and yes i uh, hope you found this video helpful and you enjoyed watching it and yes that was it for this video thank you so much for watching until next time bye